Hey everyone, welcome back to Mithridatic Wars. So we have here a situation, guys, where I've decided to attack this faction, the one that occupies roughly the position of the Byzantium, because I need this, I need this land to be friendly so I can move the troops back and forth into Greece. And this is not happening at the moment, so I've attacked them. The odds are not good, so I've decided to fight it out. You see, 55 percent 56 so we need to fight it out the garrison is most of levies and militia they have some fleet the numbers are roughly equal so let's just jump in there and see if we can teach them a lesson right so let's go so we have archers up front let's bring them forward we have a couple of units of skirmishes here too let's advance so the idea is to basically go this way and this way and potentially this way with the cavalry I have on this flank here so let's see if that's going to work let's bring my infantry forward to yeah like let's bring them like so there you go and let's see how that's gonna play out we don't have any skirmish cavalry this time we just have heavy and medium infantry and cavalry and that's pretty much it so let's start shooting Let's start uh, annoying them a little bit. There you go. They have some ships coming here as well, which is okay. Not too bothered. Let's put these guys into skirmish. Yeah, I hired these are local, local skirmishes. 175 of them. That's all right. Uh, traveling man. I think I'm gonna send you guys this way too. Let's go. Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, you see they started to fire from this direction here. Who do they have here? They have some. Ah, what I could do, but ah, no, they're defending there with the spearmen. I thought maybe I'll swing around with my cavalry. I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, let's see. So they have militias here mostly and the levies. Again, I wanted to, was tempted to auto resolve then. I thought, nah, these odds are not good enough for us to risk it. Yeah, look, smashing them, absolutely smashing them. That is okay. Here too. Oh yes, what do they have? They have some cavalry here in the mix as well. Oh yes, they do. Okay, that's okay. More for us to kill, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Excellent. 120 cavalry. This unit is quite large, isn't it? That's all right. Yeah, we'll just hold, hold them in reserve. My uh, mainline infantry for now. Oh, this unit is already wavering, which is a very beautiful sight indeed. Right, let's continue to hammer them. In archers, perhaps, yeah, let's see, let's see if we can get them out of the equation. That would be very, very helpful indeed. Spearmen units of spearmen, they are. Aha, uh -huh, archers, let's redirect them towards this. Uh, oof, that was, yeah, but none of them died. Huh? <laughs> that was great, great shot there. Let's see. That's their actual, um, actually my, yeah, let's redirect this, guys. My cavalry there. I can yes, use them to wipe them out completely. Let's just do that. Oh, look, this unit of skirmishes here. Let's bring them back and let's get my general here to actually rally them, hopefully. Oh, they rallied already. Okay, that's all right. Okay. Oh, their general is now wavering. How interesting, huh? Let's bring this infantry uh, cavalry unit here. Oh, yeah, we're done here. We're done here. I, actually, I think I need to bring my cavalry here yeah let's go while they're wavering we're gonna hit them we're gonna hopefully hit them there yeah you guys can get out of there now sling this this way all right there there yeah yeah i'm just gonna try and use this momentum actually let's go after their general yeah yeah to kind of try and wipe them out while they're still wavering and uh, use this opportunity let's bring this unit here okay archers attack yeah so we're gonna skirmish for as long as it takes uh don't mind really yeah let's get let's drive them off the field let's bring this unit here for now yeah they're very very slow i thought this was oh no they caught with caught up with somebody okay that's good citizen cavalry go after their general guys and you fellas go after no go after the spearmen yeah go after the spearmen that's fine in the meantime i think we're gonna start bringing who is this oh yeah yeah let's go i think we're gonna start bringing that and this man because yeah i'm out of ammo now archers are out of ammo this ones still have some 
and so as do these ones. Yeah, let's go. Uh, come on, guys! Come on! Come on! Come on! Cappadocian cavalry destroy the spear. Okay, so he, that's good. So the uh, general, even if I didn't kill him, he's out of the picture. That's all what we want. That's exactly what we wanted. Right. Let's see if we can actually, yeah, chuck some javelins at them. There you go. Oh, this is just merely an infantry, um, an archer unit. They shouldn't be able to resist for too long. Yeah, let's go. Swords attack. Yeah, I have some some trouble brewing on this side. I think I'm going to dispatch all, all of my cavalry along with the general. Slingers, don't go there. Just don't go there, please. Yeah. Okay, these guys, are you still pursuing? Yeah, they're still pursuing. That's okay. Let's group them separately. In fact, yeah, Royal Thorax. Let's go. Uh, okay, so we are... We should be able to engage them now. Illyrians, they hopefully will start tilting. Come on, guys, you have some armor there. Yeah, come on. You should be in that mode. All right. In the meantime, we'll get rid of these units of whatever they are. Oh, where did they go? No, 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 guys. Come back, you fellas, after this unit here. All right, let's go. Let's start pushing forward. Yeah, this is not going to work for them, is it? And wow, my archers still have some ammo here, which is quite amazing. Quite amazing. Are these guys? Yeah, these guys are ready to return. Let's bring them here. Yeah, bring them back. Okay, so we're hitting them hard. Those skirmishes of theirs. And here as well. Actually, I might want to send another unit here. So yeah, that's it. This seems to be done the job there. These archers are, uh, of theirs. Let's attack them. Chosen swords. I think they're all out of ammo. So we're going to start. Yeah, we're going to start attacking. Aha, uh -huh, the salient cavalry here as well. So they're still uh, uh, mopping up. That's okay. Let's bring these two cavalry units here. And in fact, we're going to bring this unit to... Yeah. Go after these guys. And you fellas too. There you go. Okay. The salients hit them. Step noble lancers. I'm going to ask you guys to come this way. In fact... Oh no, why, why don't you go support? Support my infantry here. Yeah, support the infantry there. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, uh, excellent. So we're gonna bring all this infantry here, like so. Go. Aha. Uh -huh. There's this unit I want you to pursue, guys. How is how is it going on this flank? Good. Good, good, good. So they are all wavering now. Royal Spears. Actually, we're going to... We have this cavalry we brought from Pursuit. We're going to ask them to chase these uh, archers away. You guys come this way as well. Yeah, how is it going here? Mitridat is doing all right there, it seems. Go. All right, I think this unit here is not doing much. Engage, please. Where is my Thessalian cavalry? Let's pull them out of there. Let's pull them out for now. In fact, what we're going to ask you to do, guys, is just to come here. Archers, pursue this unit here. Yeah, yeah, I just, I'm just trying to wipe them all out. Wipe them all out once and for all. Okay, who is this? Aha, uh -huh. you guys can actually swing around here this way. And this is the silent cavalry. Yeah, attack this unit here. They rallied, it seems, which isn't something we want to see, obviously. Right, are we done here? Yeah, we're done here. Swords as well. So we should be okay. Let's bring the sword unit here as well. So we're going to hit them uh, from this direction like so in the flank, in the rear, sorry. Yeah, in f uh, well, that should do. Guys, why are we not attacking? Let's attack them. Let's envelop them and let's attack. Hey, someone's already uh, wavering here as well. Yeah, that's good. Like, where is my cavalry? This cavalry not doing much. In fact, yeah, let's position you guys here for a charge as well. Go, go after it. Yeah, let's gonna... Oh, there's two units of cavalry here. Oh, okay, great. Great, great, great. So, okay then. Hit them, guys. Hit them in the flank. Hit them in the, in the rear. 
We still have some infantry uncommitted, it seems. Alright, this way. This way. Right, these guys managed. Yeah, okay, good. So we're pursuing one unit here, one unit there. Excellent, the general is dead. And uh, where's our general, I want to know? Where is he? Aha, uh -huh, here he is. Okay, let's bring him. Oh, there you go. Okay, this decisive, decisive victory. I wonder why they didn't change this actually, you know, this should be... Maybe could use uh, Mitridates, uh, you know, coins? Coin like him facing this way, like a young Alexander with his hair and all that, all that stuff wavy. Um, like, this was not an official, this is just taken from the bust, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look here. So what have we done? These guys didn't do too well, lost so many men, 28 only they killed. Who killed the most? Cavalry, okay, yeah, 365, 304, this is all in, oh wow, look at these guys, this is kind of a legionnaire-ish inspired, you, oh no, no, this is not, this is Galatian, this is it, this is even more kills, wow, this is really, really impressive, archers too, wow, wow, just wiped it out in, in, in all its entirety it seems, alright, there you go, so finally, I'm going to turn them into a satrapy, let's see if I can, Yes, there you go. Okay. Yes, yeah, subjugate. I'm going to subjugate them because I don't really care, you know. I don't want to control it myself. Uh, but I want a bit of a tribute. I want some um, assistance in case of war. Yeah, there you go. All right, excellent. So now, you fellas. Oh, let's see if we are trading with them. There's this silly thing happens when they don't the the trade, they refuse to. Well, yeah, so they're now joining our war. Today? with the Romans, that is great. Oh wow, how much money they have. Wow, they have quite a lot of money, it seems. Uh, Alright, let's see. Straight shot arrow. My people want your trade good. There you go, okay, excellent. We have talked and to and that's, that will also help to improve must drown our relations, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. So we have Are you brave how much they pay us? Uh, 598. Bad. Okay, excellent. All right, so that's sorted. The only problem I have now is this faction. They still control this land bridge. Uh, reminds me of um, Bulgarian, Bulgarian uh, borders be before they, be you know, Greece took over this, uh, because Bulgaria used to have access to Mediterranean. So it reminds me of that this faction here. Uh, but we'll leave them in peace. I think we have good relations with them. Actually, let's check. Uh, yeah, we have uh, trade. We have non, uh, yeah, non-aggression. Yeah, that's fine. We're doing okay. And they actually also at war with the Romans, so that is good. So in fact, the Romans. I'll show you what happened in the meantime. The Romans are at war with all of our uh, allies and all of our uh, factions that we liberated. So what we've done there in the meantime, guys, is a couple of things happen. Uh, so we obviously liberated these factions, and then yeah, we went ahead, attacked this city with Mithridates himself. The problem was uh, they didn't have a chance, well, not a problem, for them it was a problem because I had one, two armies helping me here. So this Roman uh, city had 20 units garrisoned, but I just auto resolved because the odds were like uh, ridiculous in our favor. Because again, uh, because of this allied and uh, neutral factions that also were here in, in the vicinity. So they joined in in a fight oh and we auto resolved it. So I'm thinking maybe also going all the way here. Uh, and liberating this faction and then well in, in northern Italy so that's one thing another thing happened there was a rebellion in Athens and they had four units here they decided to attack the city which has 17 units garrison obviously were defeated then I brought Makaris here and he mopped them up basically yeah he just he just helped us to mop the whole thing up and uh, defeat them this tiny rebellion now we're trying to get him to replenish uh, and another thing happened was, oh yeah, we established trade links and non-aggression with the Ptolis because I had this gentleman here, this uh, dignitary, so he came, discovered the faction, so we're doing great with trading with them now, which is all good. So yeah, now we need to march Mithridates back to Greece and then proceed waging war against Rome. It's still winter, February now. I'm trying to replenish my ships here a little yes. bit. Hired a couple of units of Rodians, one Rodian, one, one Cretan. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how the Romans react now. Right, this agent was about to be brought here because here what happens, he can increase uh, not only culture, but also loyalty to political party ruling this province. 
Uh, so I hope what will it will do because we have this province is the only province that is ruled by court nobles. We also have a new emergent Hellenic nobles faction as well. So this is court nobles controlled. So I'm hoping he will help us uh, increase their loyalty. I don't know. We shall see because the loyalty of their faction was not great. So oh, it's actually improved zero risk zero zero was a uh, risk was here. Oh, they're actually in, in a positive now. Oh great, this one like was like minus 14 or 17, I can't really recall now. So that's good then. That is not a problem. Has many faces. Right, so construction, as you can see, we're building everywhere. So economy is doing great, 14,000 plus. So we are really, really strong in terms of infrastructure. What I'm thinking though is maybe instead of taking this place, you know, maybe I should leave it there, leave it be so that my allies here have something to work with because I have convinced this faction here as well to join the war against the Romans. So basically all of these Thracians, Illyrian factions, they all at war with the Romans now. So I'm thinking, should I just leave it here for them to play with? March Mithridates uh, home or another uh, option is to march him through the northern uh, Italy, attack Italy from the north whilst my other two armies here will attack it cross cross the straits here and attack it here from the south so i'm not sure i'm thinking potentially again i think i'm going to leave this here so that my allies here have something again to keep them busy and i'm going to bring mitridates here i think i'm going to bring him back for re replenishment he's hard, yeah very very depleted now so let's bring him back and let's leave this city for all of these armies uh, to get you know uh, involved with and happy populace here troubled populace in Sarmatia yeah not doing great my lord aha uh -huh, good so this guy has improved in rank so let's give him a doggy let's give him tariffs and I want something that would improve public order so I need to go down this route uh, oh this is minus public order actually okay that isn't great so maybe yeah, we'll see next next time he's due for upgrade. We'll see how that's gonna work. Right, let's use our fleet. They also control parts of at least parts of Sicily, it seems, and the Sulani. Let's bring our fleet. Let's see if we can investigate what is up here. If there's any armies on the way to reinforce or to cause trouble. So yeah, let's go this way. So gonna be yeah they haven't fully replenished but I think I'm gonna use them here for a scouting party as a scouting party for now and then we'll see bring them back bring them back home desertion in the royal fleet doesn't look very good uh, so I'm going to I think yeah they now taking some attrition yeah let's bring them home let's bring them to home waters like so and let's see yeah, I'm gonna probably just yeah just see if i can replenish them construction complete olive oil factory fantastic oh there are more factions we're encountering apuli as well okay maybe i can ask these guys if they want to join join in the fun as well of attacking romans let's talk to them uh this guys is it I am sure you have many pleasant Oh no, they are but they are okay, please. no no these guys I do know of. Greetings, friend. Satrapy. Ah, Puli, these guys. The oh, they're all satrapies of Skardishi. Well, Skardishi I've data. actually yeah agreed with we that they will attack the Romans. In the end I gave them, them quite a, quite a lot of money and they uh, the ten thousand or whatever it was. So they did agree. They did agree. They all satrapies of where is this faction boy where is boy boy i don't see where they are i don't think i know i've discovered them just yet let's check no no boy is not listed okay so yeah that's the romans i'm just deliberately keeping this area out of occupations hopefully these allies of mine these allies of mine these are my allies this is uh, neutral this is my vassal this is my vassal so this is another faction at war with romans so i'm gonna ask them yeah I'm, hopefully Hopefully, hopefully they will have Greetings. something to work with. You see that war with Sulani. With so let's leave it here again. Let's leave it there. Larissa, let's bring... Ah, uh, this will decrease public order. We don't want this now. 
Let's see. Uh, this, uh, I want these guys to start replenishing. These have already started that process. These guys, on the other hand, I don't know why they don't want to do that. So let's bring them somewhere here, closer. And if I put you into patrol, no, still doesn't want to, um, don't want to replenish, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I need to bring Mitridates here as well for replenishment or urgently, quite urgently this is. Let's see. There you go. Excellent. Let's see. Oh, we can upgrade here because we built something to do with the horses here. Ah, oh, hang on. What can we hire here in terms of... Oh, yes. Let's get this Agrianian, Agrianian cell source. They are fantastic unit. So what we're going to do, we're going to dismiss some of our men. Uh, let's get... Yeah. We're going to dismiss this, this... Oh, sorry. Let's dismiss these guys. Skirmishers. And let's hire... Agrianians, yeah, they are great, great unit, great unit indeed. In fact, you know what? I'm going to dismiss these Cretans too. They don't have experience anyway, and I'm going to get. Who else can I get here? One more unit of Agrian Agrianians, I think. Yeah, there you go. Because Cretans, look, I have already Rodian slingers here. That's one, two, three units of uh, long range units, so I don't need any more. So that should do it. How may I serve? Right, let's go. Oh, let's go, let's go with our spy. Let's see what's happening here. Look, they have another full stock here. Another army uh, is cooking up there, which is okay. Very interesting. So the uh, east has been quiet. The east hasn't been causing any troubles. The Armenians are still at war. They reduced Seleucids finally, I think, to one province. So finally, finally, Parthians still around. Uh, Kartli has expanded like crazy. Uh, Ptolemaic Egypt, yeah, we have no aggression with. They like us quite a lot because we share the same culture. Uh, so I'm going to leave Seleucids there to be destroyed eventually by the Armenians, hopefully. Unless they want to become my client state or something Athena of the sort. The uh, of the yeah, other, other, other than that, yeah, I'm not interested in the East. In fact, all of my army is now in Greece. All of my three armies, apart from the governors here, garrisons, you know. And uh, Pontic area uh, and the Black Sea, it's all Pontic Lake now. So we have all of these factions now. So entirety, we control almost the entirety of the Black Sea coast. So these are all vassal factions here. This is all ours, apart from this stretch here and this bit here, uh, Sea of Azov, and the rest is all ours. Treaties have served us both well. Oh, that's but unfortunate. The, the last thing I want is just uh, another war in the north. Right, desertion again. Is this our fleet? Yes, I think fleet needs to be brought for proper replenishment, I think. I think I'm gonna go. Where is the crow? Uh, yeah, I think Athens are closer. Let's bring them to Athens. Fleet out of supply. Yeah, let's let's bring them in for proper f uh, supply, retraining. These guys need to be upgraded as well. So that's all good. Now construction is going strong. Oh yes, engineering facilities, and we have bigger garrison here as well. Uh, that is all good. Encouraged population. Actually, let's check this faction in the north. The last thing I want again is just to be chasing them around the steppe. Let's see. We should be still trading. Greetings. Yeah, we are trading now with them. Speak yeah, this is what... Oof, no, no speak. way. This is what happened during the first Mithridatic War. Once he started losing ground here in Asia and in Greece, there was lots of rebellions. In Colchis, there was unrest historically and here in Crimea. Crimea and in Colchis, they uh, asked for Mithridates to be dispatched. His son, Mithridates, that is uh, this gentleman here. So he did dispatch him and get, got really, really quiet there, and he got suspicious, the, uh, Mitridates the Elder. Something's a fishy there, so he arrested his son, brought him back in golden chains, since he's a prince, and executed him. And Makaris was given Crimea to govern, and also he's also later reported to govern Colchis too, so Makaris succeeded to these positions. And there was a rebellion here too. So Mithridates, in, after the first Mithridatic War, was in fact busy gathering another army and a navy to quell all these rebellions. This was uh, used as a pretext by Murina, this Roman with two Fimbrian legions from Rome, to invade Pontus 
from the south uh, twice actually. He invaded once, caused some trouble, withdrew, and then he withdrew. I think he withdrew to Fri Phrygia, if I remember correctly. Then it invaded again. Mithridates protested, sent delegations to Rome, all of that jazz. And then in the end, uh, yeah, it wasn't very effective. In fact, so the guy that was brought from Rome had a private conference with Murina, and apparently they agreed to, you know, carry on. And uh, Mithridates arrived on the scene with a huge army and basically defeated this this army. This oh, they started to replenish. Great, yeah, defeated two Fimbrian legions. So there you go. That's your myth of. Uh, undefeated, you know, undefeated or um, invincible Roman legions shattered right there. So there were two Fimbrian legions, veteran legions, in fact, that harassed Mithridates in Asia Minor before, and they were defeated. And there were probably also some um, auxiliaries as well. So it was probably another a uh, legion or even two of auxiliaries as in a traditional Roman fa fashion. So there you go. Almost the entire consular army in a good old Republican standards was defeated by Mithridates right there during the second Mithridatic war. And that was uh, then agreed by Sulla to end the hostilities. Sulla was still alive at the time. And that was the end of the second Mithridatic war. He managed to push the Romans back and reestablish his authority somewhat. Okay, so that's that, guys. And um, here we're just going to wait, I think. Yeah, we're replenishing everywhere. So we're going to wait and see how that's going to go. And then, yeah, we'll take it from there. So I'll wrap this episode here, guys. Let's just move with this spy elsewhere. Let's see what else we can find out here. Uh huh. Yeah. So they have one stuck up in uh, northern Italy. The rest, I think what I'm going to do again... Oh yes, you see, that was worth it. So I left this uh, place to be so that the, my allies and enemies of Rome uh, uh, also have something to w do, something to work with. Hopefully they'll proceed then to uh, Batavium here. And then I think I'll once I'll replenish a few turns, then I'll probably just cross the seas here with one or two armies. I think I'll leave one of them, one stack, just to govern here Greece and to keep an eye on what might happen in case something something's uh, you know taking place in Asia I need to go back and defend my homeland or Crimea or what have you so probably the plan is for now replenish few more turns uh, send two armies across and then leave one here and see what happens and start to actually you know test my fortune here and see what I can do here in Italy itself so once we capture the Rome that should be the game over for them but we shall see Thanks again, guys, for joining, and I shall see you all in the next one.